so today I wanted to talk about what I learned about other people's perception of themselves. From playing World of Warcraft, while World of Warcraft is a virtual world, the people who played the game hardcore took it as serious as the real world. The same which will happen with the metaverse on a far larger scale. When I played the very first iteration of World of Warcraft, known as WoW Classic, I was on my server's top 3 guild. I was 18 at the time and I used most of my time playing the game because it, it was just something fun to do, okay? I wouldn't say I took the game highly serious, but I did spend most of my day's time on it. One major aspect of WoW is killing dragons in dungeon raids. And when you're in a top 3 guild of the server, getting credibility and esteem for being a server first guild that kills a dragon was seen as prestigious. What I meant by not taking the game serious was that I never really bothered to prepare for the raids. I like to play the game for my own enjoyment and taking the time to find all the alchemical mixes or grindstones to buff my weapons was just... Ugh, dull. Still, I was in the guild because I liked dungeon raids and the loot, but alas, I still didn't enjoy the raids as much as my other guildmates did. Whenever we got a server first kill, it was exhilarating. You got 39 other people bursting out enjoyment alongside with you and hey, you've progressed in the game, <laughs> so you've done something right, right? So when you had a bad raid night and no one made any progress, of course it sucked, but uh, again, it's just a video game, or is it? Ah, but what happened in my guild? whenever we didn't get a server first guild, but the other guys did. Anger, frustration, disappointment in themselves. To these people, their video game iteration was their being. They were their own avatars, and if they weren't in the top, they were nothing. Sounds familiar? How many people achieve what they do in hopes for recognition from others? How many people want to recognize themselves for accomplishments that uh, ultimately don't hold any stake outside their own small circles? How many people purchase clothes or other objects because uh, they wish to be perceived one way? How many people do what they do because they crave attention and respect? Long nights, long grinds, long raids. That's how the game turns out in the end when you play in the top. If you want to be in the top guild, you do what they want. People hating themselves if they didn't succeed or worse, they didn't beat the other guild. Sometimes success isn't about being on top, but beating the other guy. Competition between avatars in an electronic pissing contest. I didn't stay too long in this guild. <laughs> Maybe 8 months to a year, tops. Ultimately, I couldn't stand the attitude people had about taking the competition. People resolving their whole lives around virtual avatars and accomplishments. Which ultimately, now with the benefit of hindsight, <laughs> meant absolutely nothing. The competition between the guilds was purely manufactured by these people themselves. So I won the game for myself by just exiting out of it. I've never played Minecraft from the little I've read about Metaverse. I see it as being this weird mix of virtual reality, Minecraft and World of Warcraft. It's going to become an exciting goldmine of joy, adventure and ways to make money because hey hey hey, I, I didn't get to the part where World of Warcraft teaches you arbitrage and hustling, but that's for another day. Still, the digital world will create competition between people, and these people will be striving for glory. This glory, which in return means long nights, long rides, long raids, or whatever, has to create forms of virtual tokens.